This is the Riverhawk Report. Field hockey, cross country, ready to perform on the national stage. Ice hockey trying to battle through injuries and mistakes, and the basketball teams trying to build on some wins. We'll start with field hockey. The Riverhawks looking to battle for a national championship. UMass Lowell and Northeast 10 rival Stonehill will battle Thursday in the Division II National Semifinal. The Riverhawks defeated Stonehill twice during the regular season and again in the conference championship game. That was a 6-1 final. I think it was the first game this year that we you know, knew something was on the line and we wanted to give it our best and I think that's what we did for a full 70 minutes is really came out and gave it everything that we had because we wanted to earn that win. And that is head coach Shannon Lieberchuk. The Riverhawks are a perfect 22-0. and The season has become something very special. It feels awesome, um, especially with this group of, of women that have just given everything that they've had all season long. Um, it's just amazing to watch them celebrate at the end of the game and, and win a championship and it was it's just it's an honor to have coached them this year. And if the Riverhawks win on Thursday, they will play Saturday for the national title. Those games, by the way, taking place in Louisville, Kentucky. Men's cross country also in Louisville. Saturday, they run for a national championship. The Riverhawks won the NCAA East Regional. Jeff Vega, the first to cross the finish line. I was thinking about like the race like day, days before. You think about like what you could run. I was thinking maybe at best like 30-20s, 30-30s. Because like Ruben two years ago, my freshman year, we had a really good race here in 30-36. And then coming down straight away, I saw it like 29-50s and finally went across the line. It was like 30-08. And I, like, <laughs> this is a big, I had a big smile on my face after that. I just couldn't believe it. Vega was named the East Region Men's Athlete of the Year. Angus McDonald finished third. Eric McDonald grabbed seventh. The basketball teams, men and women, host Bentley at the Costello Athletic Center on Wednesday night. The men, despite injuries and illness, have now won four in a row. The women have put together back-to-back wins after dropping their first four. And again, the two teams play Bentley Wednesday night at the Costello Athletic Center. The game times 5.30 and 7.30. The injury and inexperience plagued the UMass Lowell Hockey Riverhawks are struggling. They have dropped five in a row. The University of New Hampshire visits the Saga Center on Thursday night. The Riverhawks dropped two this past weekend to Minnesota State 8-3 and 3-2 were the final scores. We've done a lot of challenging things to ourselves so far this year. I mean, clearly our compete level was much better today. Our energy was much better today. We're just not getting those breaks and we're not making our breaks either. That is head coach Blaze McDonald and more to the point, McDonald points to what has been a frustrating inability to make plays at key times. We have chances to make plays, whether it's a critical dump, a critical clear, or a critical, you know, third pass in the offensive zone, and that third pass is always in somebody's feet, or it's not made, or it's, or we throw it off of somebody's body. So, you know, I think it's our inexperience as young guys, and we just don't have enough guys that are our playmakers being that guy. The Riverhawks did get goals from Chad Ruedel, Maury Edwards, and Joe Caveney the first night, and then got two goals from Riley Whitmore on Michael Saturday. Stewart, the left point, got it in the middle to Ruedel. His wrist shot scores. Riverhawks take a one nothing lead. Wetmore behind the net, feeds the left point, Ickert, right point, Edwards, sidesteps a man, moves in, fires, scores! Maury Edwards with a bomb! Into the Minnesota zone, this is Ferreira, knocked off his stick, gets it back, has it along the left boards, feeds the blue line, shot by Arnold, deflected in, score! I think Joe Caveney will get the goal. goal. Now right looks to center it, the centering pass was blocked, now a shot by Wetmore, score! Riley Wetmore Puck gives poked the ahead. Hawks. Here's Wetmore with Pendenza. Wetmore shot, score! Riley Wetmore with his second of the night. Again, the Riverhawks back in action Thursday night. They host UNH. Saturday, they travel to UMass Amherst for a 1.30 start. And that's the Riverhawk Report.